Hi, Nikki here, back to show you how to make your avatars, which should be fun. So before you make them, you're going to have to have things to make them out of. And I've just been collecting anything and everything from around the house, lots of recycled stuff, um, lots of cardboard in various shapes and sizes. This is really good. It's Tetra Packs and the inside is like silver and it's really good to use. Uh, newspapers, whoops. A whole load of uh, moss and feathers and stuff. Plastic, plastic, the female bee stuff from fruit, uh, plastic bags, foil, plastic caps and foil caps, all sorts of fabric that are found around the place. Let's have a look. Or strings, any kind of strings. Um, you can get ribbons and stuff. I think, oh, wool. Wool's great for hair. Well, everything's good for hair, but this is great stuff because if you get an old jumper that you don't want anymore, you can just unravel it and it makes really, really good curly hair. So that's very good. Um, all sorts of paper for doing the paper mache in and, or making costumes, all sorts of paper, anything and everything. Then we've got the colours. This is Anything you've got around the house, you don't even need to have colours, you can just have it as, as newspaper or just anything. Anything you can find, you'll be able to make with. Um, this is by uh, Wire. Wire, there's really good handy, handy to have some wire. There's a variety of wire. All sorts of tapes. You don't have to have the lot, you could just have one of them. Um, pins. I'm going to be using some pins to hold things in places while they dry. So I've got some pins. I wanted some drawing pins, but I could only find me ducks. So, but they've got pins on the end, so that's really good. Um, let's think, tools, oh, glue, glue. I made some glue. My mum, mum used to make some glue out of flour and water, and I found a recipe for it, tried it out. It's absolutely fantastic, really easy. There's a video on YouTube. If you just put my name in, which is, and I'll put it up so that I don't have to spell it out because I always get spellings wrong. So it's Nikki Gunson, and you put Nikki Gunson videos, and it should come up with a whole little variety of how to do videos and one of them should be the glue and it's brilliant and it works so you don't have to even go out and hunt down glue any other glue would work if you've got any glue in the house just use it and uh, tools tools we have a whole host of tools uh, some of the things don't need making tools some of them do we have a hacksaw we have a pair of secateurs we have a pair of snips for wire and we have a pair of scissors all of these are sharp, all of these, because you need to look after your tools, so they have to be sharp. And so you can hurt yourself. So make sure that if you're going to use tools, that you have an adult around to give you a hand if you need to. And also if there is an accident and you do cut yourself, which happens, um, then there's somebody there to, to look after you. So tools, treat them with respect always always point things away from you because you don't want any sort of pointy ends if you're passing them pass them with the pointy end away from the person so they're not sort of grabbing hold of anyway respect the tools that's them right i think that's about it on the tools and materials side let's get making i'm going to start off with something really simple and just using it's going to be using a uh, toilet roll and a bag of any kind whatsoever and all we're going to do is draw on it and it's going to be as simple as that there we are. I've already started one <laughs> so here we go I'm going to draw an arm so I'm going to draw around like this little thumb hand elbow arm draw a face like that and draw an eye Big eye and another big eye, mm -hmm. little wiggly nose and a mouth. There you go. So you could do something as simple as that. There you go. So you could just draw yourself on the toilet roll, Bob to your uncle. Then you could make some hair, and I've made some uh, scrunching up. So you could take your bag, you could chop it off, chop the end off, chop the top off. Chop them in two halves like that, fold it over, get a peg, peg like that, and then chop into it. Where did I put my scissors? Ah, there we go. So to chop into it, so I'm going to just make really long hair very quickly, so it's like this. Make sure you don't chop it all the way, so you're just chopping it up to where the peg is. You can make it as thin or as thick as you like, you can wave it, you can wibble it. So there's hair. Do it very quick like that 
so you've got massive bits of hair. I've started a bit beforehand. I'm going to just add this to it. Grab a bit of tape, wrap it around <laughs> and stick it in the top. So there you've got it. A mad person with hair. So that's the first one. Second one, you're going to need your toilet roll and you're going to need a cereal box. So the first thing you're going to do is squish down the top of your um, toilet roll and just take that down like that. I'm going to now chop off the corners. So I'm going to just chop off using the scissors, pointing them away from me, not towards me. Chop them off like that. Give it another bit of a tape. Okay, so I've got that and then I'm going to put it, I'm going to have mine sitting up. So I'm going to use that like the outline of a sitting up person. And I'm going to put my, my um, thing on it like that. So, and then you're going to draw around it and you're going to draw a person around it. So there we go, there's a person around it. We've got his legs and his arms and his head and that's how he's going to be. I've got one prepared earlier because I haven't got time to be cutting things out too much. And what I'm going to do is just stick him, or her, should be a her really, shouldn't it? Because I'm making it and it's sort of, oh, I forgot to tell you about tape. Masking tape's great. Other tapes, you're going to need scissors, but masking tape, <clears throat> you can nip and rip. So if you put your hands together really close and you pull one hand one way and push the other, so it's like that, nip and rip, it's really good. Right. Anyway, back to taping him. I've taped the shoulders. I'm going to tape his bottom and his leg like that. Woohoo! It's still a he, but I should be making a she. There we go. Waffle, waffle. There. You could do this a lot better. Oh, mine's decided to cross its legs. That's all right. We can have it sort of crossing its leg. So you can sort of do it better. And there's your little character sitting down, ready to be decorated. The third one, you're not going to need any tools whatsoever. You just need to need tape. Um, I'm going to use sellotape for this one. You can use um, masking tape. And all you're going to do, <clears throat> I'll make the head first. You're going to, it's going to be using newspaper. You can make everything out of anything and out of, out of the newspaper, scrunched up. It's great stuff. It's a great way of doing it. You just need newspaper and any tape. So when, you, when you're scrunching and you're scrunching into a ball, if you scrunch inwards like that, all the way around, really loosely, it's very noisy. <laughs> so it keeps on scrunching in, so it keeps on going round. And then when you when you fold it all in, you've got a nice flat surface. So when you sort of come into paper mache or anything like that, you've got a nice flat surface. What I'm going to make is like an egg shape. If you're making a head, it's really quite handy to make like a, an egg shape. So I'm going to squish the top to make it round. So I'm going to squish the bottom to make it egg shape. And then I'm going to get my sellotape and I'm going to just sellotape a few bits shouldn't really do that because it gets stuck on your lip. Here's one a bit of <laughs> prepared earlier. It's like, right, so I'm going to actually do a bit of this in there. Right, so I've got, a, I've got a, a basic egg shape. Then you're going to get half a piece of uh, newspaper and you're going to scrunch it around to the bottom of the, bottom of the egg shape, but not right at the bottom but sort of to make the neck. So you're making a chin. So that's what you're doing. And you're going to get another piece of paper, another piece of tape. I'm going to use this because I haven't got any uh, sellotape prepared, but you can use sellotape. And just tape it around like that. So then you've got your neck and your head. So I'm going to use that later. So next thing you're going to do is scrunch up for the legs. This time you're going to use a whole one, but you're going to continue it like this. There we go, like that. Give it a bit of a twist. Get your sellotape. Give the end an even bigger twist because this can be your foot. So, and you're going to just wrap it around, start wrapping it around from the bottom. So then you make your foot like that. Then you're going to make your foot stand up if you want to make your foot stand up and start wrapping like that. Now you're going to go a little bit more random. If you do it at an angle like that, you can just 
twist it and wrap and it goes down at the same time so you're not all twisting it in one place so the angle makes it go down like that like that all the way down leave a little bit at the end like that so that is your random leg Ooh. Right, like that so there's your random leg and I've made one before and I've made an arm and what you're going to do with this lot is you're going to get your body that you've made and you squish the top in the same way as the one before and you're going to get it and you're going to stick your head on onto the back of it like that like that and you're going to stick your legs onto the bottom of it like that using your tape and you're going to stick the arms onto it like that and then you can position them in whatever shape you want. I've got one before that I made earlier, so I'm sitting down, ready to, to rock and roll. So that's what you can do, and you can do anything. You can make um, an animal. You can take the scrunched up ball, put a pair of ears on it. That's just like you do to get ears to stand up. If you make the ear shape and you put a cut down the middle like that, and then you twist it over on itself and take that bit down, then that bit sits firmly on, on the thing and it holds the ear up. So you could have ears on it or you could just take them ears off and make yourself a nice pair of um, elephant ears, say. Put a trunk on it like that. Big pair of elephant ears. You can stick it onto a big scrunched up egg. And that's three scrunched up balls, one on the top and two either side making a body so that can be like an elephant you can scrunch up some legs and put them on or you can use a base of a, a thing with the same idea so that can be an elephant like that um string tails all sorts of things so it gives you an idea you could have with your rabbits and things you could have little scrunched up legs so that your rabbit sitting like that or it can be a, a a bear or a rabbit whatever right enough of that the last one that we're going to do is a puppet and the puppet is the only one really out of all of these it's animated and for that you're going to need a variety of uh, any kind of sticks it can be bamboo it can be a twig from the garden it can be anything dowling whatever and you're also going to need your trusty toilet roll of course and the what, first thing you're going to do is we're going to do, I'm going to show you how you're going to get your arms. I'm going to do your limbs. So we're going to get them. Um, this is, I've got a hand already. This is going to be my arm. It might look a bit long, but I'll explain in a minute. I've done a little bit of scrunched up newspaper to put a little hand on it, snipped it there and made a little thumb. When you animate a hand, um, what I'm going to do is we're going to be animating them by putting a join there and then this bit you you ha you move around and go hello like that. So that's what we're going to be doing with that. So you're going to need for your puppet you're going to need two arms and two top of your arms. And uh, I'm going to show you how you're going to... The, the length is basically it's the same length as the uh, body of the toilet roll and so I'm going to get a, an ordinary bit of twig and I'm going to use my secateurs and these are really sharp because they're meant to cut quite sort of thick bits of twig so they wouldn't take too much trouble with going through bone so I need them they're both the same size so I'm going to snip off with that so that gives me two tops and then I'm going to put these up here actually and then what we're going to need to do is snap we need to um, no, we don't we need to saw. I need to, a little top bit, so we're going to saw. The best way to saw, this isn't a very practical way. It'd be better on, on an old chair or a stool or an old table. But you need to have somebody, it's a lot better having somebody or your knee pressing down really firmly. And when you, I don't know whether this is going to be working with me. Um, I don't think I'm going to be able to do it and put my knee on it and saw at the same time. So I'm going to do my cheating way which is holding it in my legs and balancing it on there. Basically, you just need something to, to support it. And I can hold it steady with my hand. So I need shoulders. The shoulders are going to be 
a little bit wider than that so I only need a little bit so I'm going to saw there and so let's get it started nice fast bit there we go that's our sawn bits and that's going to be our shoulders so now we've got we've got our shoulders our, our bottom bits and I'm going to get another bottom bit of my hand there so that's that's our our body set up and now we need some legs and legs I've got a I've got one leg already in fact I've got two bottom legs one's an already bent, uh, bent twig and one was one I made a scrunched up thing Bobby on right the the top bit top part of your leg is going to be the same the good thing about twigs is if you put your hands together a bit like the tape you can just break them so you just and if you put them together that means it breaks in where you want it if you had it miles apart and that you've got no control over and it's really harder to do and you've got no control over where it breaks so I've now got two bottom bits two top bits and a hip so that's the way that's going to be going let's start with the arms the way we're going to animate them is they're going to be joined here and this is how you will go hello and wave so the first thing we're going to do is use the simplest form and that's going to be using tape it can be any tape I'm using masking tape I'm going to put a bit along there then I'm going to put a bit leaving a fingers worth there so and then it's going to go back onto the side this you're going to then squeeze together so that makes that bit strong that in itself isn't going to be strong enough so I am going to do it a couple more times well at least one more time I'm going to wrap around there this time as well like that and underneath and then back around on there that should be that should be tight enough if you feel it isn't you can add a little bit more so that's any tape you can use to make it like that the other way we're going to do it is using string so we're going to use string to do do this and the first thing we're going to do is do the bit that's on the bottom so I'm going to tie it around around the stick like that I'm going to go underneath as well just to make it a little bit firmer and I'm going to tie it twice to make a knot so it's once and twice right then we're going to take the shortest bit and we're going to do that we're going to make a loop I'm going to put the loop along the join like that I'm going to get a bit of tape just to hold it down while we do the wrappy roundy bit so now we're going to take the long bit and we're going to wrap it around so we're going to wrap it I'm going to just tie it underneath there just to keep it together a bit and then I'm going to wrap it around and around and around and around and around till we get to the end take off the bit of tape put it through the hoop and then we're going to pull both ends and that's going to take the string underneath you can see it's going underneath there like that and then that won't come out finished off by chopping chopping these bits and then you've got your hello little arm so there's your two arms another way you can join them is using using string is just using string and tape I've taped it along there nice and tightly and then I'm going to make it a little bit tighter to, uh, and less likely to pull out by whoops by putting another bit of tape like that you can then do exactly the same on that bit and then you've got a join like that you do exactly the same with two bits of cord or ribbon get a bit to overlap it down and tape it down and again you've got your join like that so that's all the way that you can animate now we're going to do um, something that means that you can position yours so it make a bendy join so you can get any kind of wire I'm using a few pieces of uh, garden wire because it's not very thick I'm joining them together twisting them in the middle you'll then put them either side of your join and wrap one bit around the other that just helps it stick on like that you get a bit of tape and you tape it down 
like that, nice and tight. Probably put another piece on just to make it even tighter. And then you join the other one in exactly the same way, like that. If you haven't got garden wire, you can use a variety of things. You can use ordinary thick wire. In that, that case, you'd only have to put it like that and like that, tape it down and you've got a nice bendable leg. If you haven't got any wire at all, but your mums and dads have been uh, drinking the kava, you can undo a kava wire top thing, pull it apart, she says, pull it apart, grab it, pull it like that, stretch it down, add the extra bit in the middle like that, and you can do exactly the same with that. So you can take that down and then wire that onto it and tape it down. So that's three different kinds of wires that you can do. The final thing is if you want to your, your little avatar to be stationary and solid and not move. And this way we're going to, going to tape it together in position. You can have it straight legged, but I'm going to make mine bent kneed. So the first thing you do with string is tie it really tight in a knot like that. Then you're going to position it. Like I say, I'm going to have mine so it's a bent knee. And then what you're going to do is you're going to go over and under. This is called lashing. I learned it in the guides. You might do it if you're in scouts or something. So you go over the top and under the bottom, over the top, under the bottom, over the top. You can change positions and go diagonally. As long as you go under the bottom one, over the top one, you can go wherever you want. You can make it look really neat or you can just do it ad lib like I am. Once you get to a certain point and you think it's nice and strong, you're going to tie it all off like this. And then you've got your solid, totally solid little knee joint. So it's entirely up to you how you do it. You can have, you can have it so it's operated like that. You can do the same with the legs. You can have it so that you've got your animated bendy legs or you can have a solid one. It's entirely up to you. Now we have our arms and legs, let's make our puppet. Um, <laughs> I'm going to, for the 80s one, I'm going to use bamboo and sellotape as my puppet uh, making method. So that's the arms and legs. What we need now is a body. This is our toilet roll. What I'm going to do with our toilet roll is squish the ends, chop down there and chop, cut into it. So it's like cut down and cut into it so that you can, you get that sort of a thing going on. At the bottom, you're going to cut out little, little U's. And this is so that we can put the arms in the top like that. And then we're going to just take right over the top like that exactly like that. Then we're going to get another bit of tape. We're just going to fold that bit in and then fold the other side over. Put a bit of tape and bring it together. Do exactly the same with the other bit. So we're going to fold that in and bring that bit over like that and bring it over and tape it down. So that's our arms then the legs are going to go exactly the same way so you're going to get a bit that goes right down the middle like that and then we're going to get a bit that just goes either side of the leg just to keep that in place okay so now we've got that we've got a head to add haven't we it's the same as the one the paper uh, scrunched up paper one that we made earlier so here it is, but I've put some um, paper mache on it. And it's easy to do. This is a tissue uh, roll of uh, like uh, wiping up roll. So you, if you're going to put tissue on, you need to put it on the glue on the surface and then put the tissue on top. If you're going to use newspaper and then put the glue, another layer of glue on the top and just smooth it all down. If you're going to get, make newspaper, it's a bit thicker so it doesn't mould in as well. So what I do is put a bit of t paper a glue on top of the paper itself. So that way it, it softens it a bit. Then you put it on and put the glue, do exactly the same, put the glue and then it moulds really nicely. Okay, right, I'm going to stick this on. No, I'm not. I'm going to put the dress on first because I think it might be a little bit tricky if I'm going to uh, put it on with a head on. So 
arms in the air like I just don't care. On with her, this was one of my socks that I just chopped off. I thought it would be, it had a massive great hole in it, so I thought that'll do. And her arms keep on turning around one. So what I'll do, it's like I'm only going to show you what I'm going to, to do with this for now, because I haven't, I need to get on and show you what to do with all your other ones. So there's going to be um, a bit that goes down the arm like that, so she's going to have a a onesie little thing. I'm going to stick a pin in there for now. So this is what she's going to look like. She's going to have a little pin on the top. Excellent. Right, like that. She's got a little rah rah skirt like this. Like that. Oh, I forgot to put a head on, haven't I? <laughs> Never mind. You can do that in a second. You can use your imagination. Basically, she will have her head on like that underneath it. <laughs> It'd be easier to put her hair on without without her head, to be fair. So that's that's my, my body. She's got a little row wear skirt on and she's got her thing. Now her hair. What I've got for her hair is I've got I've made a sort of wig mainly because I needed it to be dry. So I've done it, that's like on a piece of paper and I've just put lots and lots of wiggly, furry stuff down that way and a little bit for the fringe. What I'll do for now is I'll just pin it on because what I'll do later is glue it on properly. I'm going to get one of my ducks and pin it to a head. I'm hoping that uh, the glue from the paper mache will make this stick to her head, right? They'll have to just be there, that's so I know where they are. But you're getting the idea, this is uh, my beautiful 80s lady. And she's got a, a bit of a two-tone um, hair piece and a bow. So like that. So this is going to be my puppet. You'll get to see her finished at the expedition, expedition, exhibition. Right, which I'll tell you about later. So that is how I'm going to be for my puppet. Yeah. So you just got to do that. Right, I'm going to go right back to the beginning. Oh, before you um, do decide on doing that, you don't have to necessarily do it as a puppet, remember. You can do it as a sort of um, a bendy uh, mouldable thing, or you can do it as a solid thing. I've got a little creature that I made and that's that sort of just sticks and bits of cloth and it's a bit scary but I quite like scary. Um, right, so there's that way. So you can decide on that one. Right, back to basics. Here we have, I painted my um, 80s toilet roll and she has got the most amazing 80s disco hair. So there she is, she's finished, that's all you need to do for her. So that's her there. Right, the next one, she's going to be, there's a few things this one can be. She can be a blue jean baby. She can also have, I'm going to just put a bit of glue on this and I'm going to put it and I'm going to put, ooh, get off eight and a naught and an S which I cut out of um, the magazine really I think it was. There you go so 80s so this is my 80s lady in her blue jeans you could cut out in exactly the way I've cut the jeans you could put a little waistcoat and then be double denim um, this is my 80s t-shirt and what else can we have for her? Her hair. Right, she could have, you can cut out a hair, put a slit where the hairband is and then she can have the most amazing long hair like that. You can also do it, you can turn her into a character and she could be um, spiky hair and then put uh, in fact, I'll put this through first, so bear with me. So, 
think about what this might be. 80s, it's a film. Sort of very big in the 80s. A spiky haired person. Right, there you go. Who's that? That's the Professor from uh, Back to the Future. So you can make yours into a character. Uh, you could do that as a brown, brown bag and have it shorter and put out a hat like that and have it as Indiana Jones. So there's all sorts of things you can do with, I'm going to put the long hair back on. I'll keep the coat. There you go. So that's number two. And right, next one is a scrunchy one. You'll like this. This is my scrunchy one. I finished her off. <laughs> I pinned, literally using these long pins, got loads of the fruity things, pinned it to her head and then did a little bow and pinned that to her head. And she's very relaxed in her paper mache top and her foil uh, skirt. So that's her there. There you go. And I think that's it, isn't it? Yes, that's it with the uh, all my characters. Um, the last, but I'll bring my bring lady back in here. There's a few things that I made that because they're the characters, there's your avatars and, and a few ideas on how you want to to make them. But there's a few things that uh, you sent in that I I try to sort of help you make. So here's. Uh, a cereal box so if you cut it you can turn it into a DeLorean to go with Back to the Future. I've started by doing the up and round but you can cut that off and do exactly the same. The wheels it's just straws and various things and I put a bit of a, a thing through it and then there's a, a wheel that sticks on the other side or oh, these are milk bottles doubled up so that's a, a DeLorean get rid of that bit and you can have a Polaroid camera. This is my Polaroid camera, it's even got a thingy bobby dint. That's a, a lid, cardboard, cardboard boxes, cardboard, simple things, cardboard. It's amazing what you could do with cardboard. Um, I'll put you up there. And last but, oh you could do exactly the same just by cutting two out two sides and do like that. So you could do anything. If you wanted to be a Pac-Man, you could do two Pac-Man shapes and then do a, a strip that went all the way round and you could have a Pac-Man as, as your big build. Because these are things that will go with your avatars. It's like when you do the parade normally, there's a big build and it's all fantastic and then you're in costumes. So you can build your own big builds, if you like. Uh, Rubik's cubes, you can do that. Uh, the scrunching thing, you can turn one of yourselves into a character if you wanted as well. So that's, that's that for that. Um, when you've finished doing your avatar, because I've given you hopefully loads of ideas, it'd be great to get some photographs or a video. It's a, it would need to be a little video. Um, and if you're going to video, hold your camera that way, not that way, that way, because otherwise you get the lines down the side. So take a video of that. If you want yourself in, which means that it will go out onto and everybody will be able to see it, but if you want that and you don't mind that, that's great. Put yourself in the video as well. Dress yourself up, look fantastic. Have your little, little, little parade on video or take a photograph or just take her, um, your avatar. The date for them to come in is... Da -da 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 -da. Photos and videos. Videos, a bit shorter than this one. Uh, 10 seconds, that's all it needs to be. And it needs to be in by the 6th of June. Okay, so that's that's what that's about. And you can send it to where are we? Back at the your your personalized thing, which is patina2020. What is it? Barkham at gmail.com. So that's where you can send it all to. And it'd be brilliant for you to to send it because that, that we're going to make it into a little virtual uh, parade and um, after the lockdowns happened and we can all go back together we will all be celebrating we will have the biggest of parties and all our little avatars will all be lined up with their big makes like that <laughs> and every single one of you 
Um, if you make a representation of yourself, your section will look as good as it would have done in big scale out on the streets of Patina, because this is just going to be how you would see your parade, and it gives you a chance to build your parade. Mini! So it'll be, the exhibition will be the biggest, biggest, the biggest, absolutely biggest, little, amazing, unique parade ever. But to be that, you've got to make your little avatars from the really, really simple, take you five minutes, to the, the really complicated. So get making, and I'm really looking forward to seeing all your little avatars. Bye!